Aristotle, the father of political science, described the connection of well-being between political community and citizens who make it up. He said, and I quote, Citizens must actively participate in politics if they are to be happy and virtuous. Harden your heart guys cause you are about to witness politics post-mortem. The first thing that comes to my mind when I hear politics is the guidance given in Kautilya Arthashastra, that is, in the happiness of the citizens lies the benefit of the king and in what is beneficial to the citizens is his own benefit. Kautilya Arthashastra also teaches a king governance of kingdom, laws of collection of taxes, maintenance of army and most importantly it teaches a king or prime minister in India or president in United States to unite their people by solving the issues of disintegrity. To your surprise, political parties around the world originated with this idea in their mind. Comparing this with today's existing system of governance, corruption, drama, betrayal, propaganda are the things that comes to my mind. Scenarios like bloggers being paid by the ministers to write attack articles, not to mention the country's name, New Zealand. Citizens unable to make up their own government even if they have majority, like as you know, an audio clip was leaked in Rajasthan which indicated towards horse trading of MLAs in order to topple the government. Social media being misused to win presidential election, like recently, a bug in Instagram's algorithm systematically prevented Mr. Donald Trump from the negative hashtags without doing the same for his rival Mr. Joe Biden. People with 48 cases locked up in jail becoming jail ministers, not to mention the name Raja Bhaiya, Simon's corruption in Germany, Sani Abacha draining Nigeria from all its assets, Gertel case in Spain, this list can go on and on and on. Scenarios like this make me feel that the ideal lifespan of politics is over. Bribery, extortion, cronyism, nepotism, parochialism, patronage, influence peddling, graft corruption, embezzlement and what not have become common in today's politics. You must be wondering what is the cause behind such big transition as the divine politics as it was thought of to this politics. In 90s, a basic theory around the world was in business. The leaders who genuinely wanted to work for the country had to take the help of law breakers in order to come into power. Because unless you are in power, you cannot change the scenario. Slowly this theory changed pattern and the law breakers themselves wanted to become the leaders. Other than this, there are many other reasons too, like spiritual politics, conversion into religious one, people developing cult of personality for votes, greediness, insane affection towards power and money. Actually, for people, getting into politics became a tool to get acquitted from their previous criminal charges. Presently, blame game is, fashion in, blame game is in fashion in politics, with UK blaming Europe and US blaming China for the coronavirus. With all these being said, there are also few leaders possessing good vision. But if we want to see the better future of politics and ultimately of the world, politics as a whole should rejuvenate. With more youth participation, with media showing ground reality without any biasness, debating of candidates with serious criminal records. Friends, if we want to change the politics, it starts now and it starts with us. By the way, my name is Girish Rao Gandhi. I don't know why people call me Girish Rao Politics. Thank you.